You would make a reader out of you. <laughs> I manage the odd half hour in spite of my other engagements. Hmm, like boxing lessons. You're hilarious, do you know that? Let me see. A little better today. <laughs> well, I'm sure you will in a couple of days. Am I going to get a new cellmate by then? Nothing confirmed yet. In case you're wondering, Curtis has been put in with one of our resident head cases, so should keep him out of mischief for a Good. bit. And he hasn't told the governor about the phone either. No, no, you were right about that. I think he knew I'd make his life a living hell if he did, so. Still, it's not as if we've um, ripped each other's clothes off or anything, is it? Shame. Just a disagreement, that's all. Well, who did this? Mum, it's a prison, okay? Stuff happens. Well, I hope he's been put in solitary or Just something. Drop it, okay? It's sorted. Sit down. <sighs> Any word on Maisie? No, not yet. But I'm going to the solicitor when I leave here. I'll mention it to him. Okay. That's not the only reason I'm going. I've been talking to Declan. Declan? Yeah. He hates Nathan and Natasha as much as we do. He's going to help us. We've come up with something. What? We've given Natasha an ultimatum. Either she admits that Nathan killed Mark, or I can test the will. Mum, she would never give Nathan up. She'd never give the money up. Well, for the sake of the other kids, if nothing else, we have to keep the pressure on. 